welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 16 and you join me as I'm busy collecting our produce for the day to go and sell. Oof, I think I've just damaged the greenhouse. Nice driving, nice driving in the event. The big dilemma that we have at the moment is that the pigs are costing us a fortune to feed. We're pretty much full up. I think we're getting close to a thousand pigs there. They've been breeding quite quickly. Um, but they're not really in a position to make decent money out of them by selling them. So we've got to look at a long term feeding solution for the pigs or change direction. So that's what this episode is really about. It's about trying to find. Well, I think of when I say try to find, it's more changing directions in the way we feed the pigs. At present, I've been buying in pig feed. It's been costing a fortune. And we've just, just been able to keep up with it with the income that we are making. Um, but as the pigs have bred and they've got more, they've got obviously eating more. And we're starting to get a situation where we don't have enough money coming in to feed the pigs properly. So this is a situation that needs to be resolved. Um, I'm loath to sell the pigs at the price that we have at the moment, that we're getting for them at the moment because they are still relatively young. Even the original breeding stock is still only 15 or 16 months old and I like to sell them at around about 24 months old but then we should have more breeding stock coming in. In event that's what this is this episode and indeed the next episode for the next month it's going to take us two months just to get up to scratch in the new way that I'm going to be doing it. Well, first of all let's just deliver this get some money in how much are we going to get for this? We, we're making around about 20,000 euros a month at the moment. Um, but as I said, that's all going on pig feed. And we're still sh struggling as well to... Um, well, to, to make ends meet when it comes to feed, basically. Right, so that's... Uh, not to be scoffed at, that's seven grand just for the vegetables basically to the farmer's market, to our own farmer's market. We've still got the noodles to sell, it's probably another, I'd say 3,000 odd-ish. And then we've still got the eggs to do because I think the eggs might be going to the pizzeria, I think, if I remember correctly. I did look up the pricing to see where the best, best price is. Um, yep, pizzeria. And the eggs are starting to become fairly lucrative now. They're also pretty much at full capacity. So every morning we are setting off excess stock. The problem is the price is never very good. Right, so the thing that we're going to do is I'm going to change from buying pig feed to making our own our own food basically. So we're going to create fields to plant the various components of pig feed. So we need we need the base food which is sorghum and corn. So we'll alternate between sorghum, sorghum and corn. Then we need uh, proteins, which are your sunflower and canola and I think olive oil. I can't, can't remember which other, um, which was the third one. There's a third one. Then our grains, which are our wheats and our barleys. So we've got lots of wheat planting at the moment. It's probably not going to be sufficient to cover both the 
the chickens and the pigs so we'll have to must probably plant some more wheat along the along the way and yeah that's basically it so it's your base your base product your your, your base crop your greens or well not your greens your proteins um your grains oh and the uh the fourth one is of course the root vegetables so we'll plant potatoes and sh sugar beet so what i've done is i've started plowing up um while i was waffling on there you've seen we made two s smaller fields of course we are still working between the the trees so we're getting some nice art shaped fields this is a big field so those first two fields that we've done already are going to be for in in this instance going to be for sunflower um, now the issue is whether we're going to produce be able to produce enough to feed our pigs for a year um, without having to buy more land that's going to be the next issue this is a nice big field kind of wraps around the chickens and uh, that will be we will plant um, sorghum in that for the seasons but that, I think that will only be planted next month so there's a bit of a rush on to get the sunflower planted in the bottom two fields and then just as we finish this you'll see we will be going on to make, make a we'll be going on to make a field to plant the potatoes in the potatoes and I'm, I'm thumb sucking a little bit here in terms of how much land we need for each of the of the um, of the inputs um, is going to be fairly small compared to this field in particular simply because you get a lot of potatoes a lot of yield from a potato field now I haven't done sunflower, sunflowers for a long time so I'm not quite sure what the yield will be on those two fields but from my experimentation because I am buying in the different components at the moment uh, is that um, the base food goes down very quickly so you need a lot of um, a lot of sorghum and or corn and also the protein so a lot of the oils canola sunflower um, need to be or are used up quite quickly so it's going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of tweaking as we go along to um, make sure that we've got enough food for everybody but I think that once the pigs start generating income we will be able to we'll be able to be a little bit more we'll have a bit more e economic and money freedom let's put it that way so this is where I'm going to do the uh, potato field I'm going to do it around this little rocky outcrop here So it's not a tiny field but it's hopefully will give us enough to last or to to feed the the pigs for a year we may of course need to store some food um, so the root crops would be a little bit of a problem there we don't have anywhere really to store the root crops so that's something that may have to be done We'll see, we'll see if, how much how much space we have in the pig in the pig food area. It's fairly big, but it's going to depend on how much this little field yields. Just about finished plowing it up now. So that's the plan. It's going to take a little while to. It's probably going to take two two episodes and two months to get the fields planted, and then of course we'll have to wait for them to grow. we're starting to run out of 
the end we've got this plot which runs down to oh it runs a little way down the um, the uh, access road so we should probably be able to get this field and another three fields out three smallish fields out of out of the rest of the land there's quite a big rocky outcrop in it so um, yeah we'll have to pretty much use up all our land to to be making feed for the pigs and the chickens right so we just need to put some lime down so for this episode I'm just going to be working on the potato fields and the two sunflower fields we'll get those done and then plant it up and roll and get them ready and then we will rest and go into the next month so that we can start planting the rest of the of the inputs we need for our for our pigs I had a lot of lime I don't know if you recall in one of the earlier episodes we um, overbought lime so luckily I remembered about it and uh, we are going to use that up first should just about do the three fields that I want to do now in this um, this episode found this nice little sprayer doesn't have a huge capacity but uh, it's not very expensive because of course I'm leasing all this equipment so we're going to lease it for two months so that's sort of just added added expenditure now there's another little tweak I'm doing on the manure because as you can see I've just bought you or well used the chicken manure and that's cost about 300 euros uh, extra to to buy but I've sold the same amount in the um, in the global market and it brought in about 700 euros so there's a bit of a bit of arbitrage that can be done on the manure so we are now also manure traders so the pig feed manure or the pigs manure sells a lot for a, a lot more than the chicken man manure um, although we do have to subsidize the purchase and of the um, of the chicken manure cost as I said so we make about we make about 400 euros on every load that we that we do so that's that's a little bit of extra income we are doing a double application so we should be fully fertilized of course that uses more manure but it does cut down on um, on work in the future to be uh, to be honest as I can say don't really like saying that all the, all the time I don't use it very often but to be honest <laughs> in any case all right well just going on we haven't left ourselves a lot of space these little bit little corners here and there that I've got a bit of a plan for as well between the fields and uh, where we're going down the tree lines and I've got a little bit of a plan for using that those areas of course ecologically <laughs> but um, yeah that's probably for the next couple of episodes to come up We've got to try and start generating money wherever we can um, right it's that field done manured right let's get a planter out we can't afford a really big planter we don't have the horsepower but this doesn't require any horsepower pretty basic potato planter it's going to take a little while to plant 
We had lots of up and downing and only plants two rows at a time. But it gets the job done. We'll get the potatoes in and uh, yeah, that's another thing we'll have to start with, this, with the amount of fields that we're going to be planting now. Is we also need to start looking to buying our own equipment. Um, we are definitely going to be pretty much, even though we seem to be working towards animal husbandry as, our, as one of our main sources of income, um, in order to do that we are having to become pretty big arable farmers. Then of course we've got the greenhouses, um, got, a f got a bit of plan for that as well to increase the production on that. Right, let's get going. Not sure which way it's going to run down because you get nice rows with these. So I did. My first thought was to do a headland. As soon as you get here, it changes direction, of course, so uh, because we don't have square edged fields, we're just going to have to play around with it a bit. It's not too much of a pro it's not too much of a problem. We're just not going to get those. N well, we'll get straight lines. They're always going to be planted in straight lines. It's just the, the lines will be facing in different directions. <laughs> oh dear. Nerding out about it. Just get the potatoes in the ground, man. <laughs> yeah, so it's, the plant is working pretty well. It's probably going to have to be dashing out to, f to fill it up every couple of passes, but beggars cannot be choosers, as they say. Yes, I'm quite enjoying this challenge of having to keep the pigs going. At the moment, I'm pretty much losing it. It's costing a lot of money, it's costing everything we make from our greenhouses and eggs. Um, we're having to be creative with, uh, with our manure. We're having to be fairly crea uh, creative with our flower production. I have sold a a couple of um, pellets of flour. I don't know whether I showed that. I think it was in the last episode. But yeah, I sold a, um, a couple of pellets of flour just to top up the income, and we did have a fair a fair stock in the in the bakery. So yeah, yeah. So that's um, yeah, it's not too bad. So that's one load it's only 200 liters i think we'll just pop around and go and pick up the seed bag from the delivery area just keep it closer to the field here because we're going to be we're going to be popping in and topping up pretty regularly of this i am sure <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right, we'll just jump forward a little bit. We've already used one whole bag of seeds and then I remembered that we had some leftover seed in our little store. So that's going to be used. Thank goodness I remembered that. And we've just about finished planting the field now. So we just got a couple 
little passes to do. It's taken a while, but it's done. And that's why we need to keep our potato or sugar beet fields um, fairly small and just hope that we can adjust with the yields. Um, maybe, maybe have another small field somewhere on, if need be. Um, just to um, just because they take a long time to work on, they take a long time to plant, even with decent sized planters, and they take a long time to harvest. Because we uh, we're not going to be able to get an all in one harvester, so we're going to have to we won't be able to afford that to start with. So we're going to have to top them, uh, top the potatoes, and then. Although I think, hopefully the uh, the Hurleyman will be able to handle a top on the front and uh, and still pull a um, pull the potato picker uh, behind. Not sure yet. It might be one of those where we have to buy in a we're not buying leasing a uh, a diesel powered vehicle. We haven't had to do that for a while. Does mean we haven't been planting a lot of trees. I think we only so far have planted about nine trees. Which is quite good, it means we're not using a lot of fossil fuels. I don't know whether I don't think I showed it either, but um when we were doing going through the winter months, uh I did um have to add in an extra wind turbine which I put up on top of the of the silo because we had to supply some power for the greenhouses during the summer months we don't really need it but in the winter months we started running out of a bit of power so we had to put in some heat generators inside the greenhouses which necessitated a um, another um, source of energy and we put that wind turbine on top of the I don't think I did show that actually I should have we put we put the uh, the small wind turb turbine on top of the uh, grain silo. I'll try and remember to show that in one of the future episodes. Right, so we've just finished um, liming the two sunflower fields. As I said, um, even though we've got some lime on the sorghum field, I'm not going to finish liming it now. Um, getting through to Lateish afternoon. Well, it's not late. Actually, it's only two o'clock at the moment. But um, yeah, we need to get get these two fields f finished first. Just jump forward a little bit to um, to the end of the manuring. So all these fields, the these bottom two fields, are now fully fertilised as well, which is quite good. Oh, it's not quite good, it's very good. Getting all those extra jobs that we may have needed to do after we've planted done beforehand. Of course these are new fields so they won't need to be weeded this season, so that's another good thing. The detracting factor, of course, is that we um, we're going to have to wait for all this to grow. In the meantime, we're still going to have to be pay, paying for our pig feed. So I think uh, I think tactically it was probably a bit of a mistake to buy the pig so early. What I should have done, I think, was concentrated more on the on thinking about how they're going to be fed. Um, and um, worked more and spent more on producing our greenhouses and fruit trees to bring the income in to keep us going. But it's done, so we have to we have to try and work with it now. We have to take our medicine if we. Um, if we lose slight condition on the pigs, um, if we can't quite 
fully feed every every month um, but we're going to have to start selling off well we're going to have to start selling off at lower prices our um, piglets most probably keep them for a couple of months get a little bit of a little bit of um, money into them let's put it this way <laughs> so we can get a little bit more back from them um, and then uh, and manage that situation but that will be done in the next episode we'll go through the uh, stock management oh just drove over my corner of my field goodness me that was careless it's not the first time I've done that in the series I think it was about the second or third episode I drove straight through the that same field actually any event uh, we need some more seed and we're going to go and plant the plant the sunflower now this is quite a nifty little planter it's probably Go a long way to planting both those fields with uh, with what we have in here. We'll soon find out. This should shouldn't take too long. Start on the top field and finish off on the bottom field. Yeah, so as I as I said, you know, we are becoming quite big arable farmers. Of course because we don't want to cut down any trees, our fields are looking quite interesting <laughs> to say the least. Um, they are quite close together. So I don't know when we've we're probably going to have to use workers somewhere along the line employ some local people which is not a bad thing either but I don't know how they're going to handle this right so that's just about both fields planted then we've got to get a roller onto all the of course we don't put a roller onto the potatoes but we'll have to get a roller onto these two fields And then that'll be the first part of the big feed feed peak pig feed production <laughs> going. I'm quite glad that it is going, and it's a good it's a good exercise. As I said, the the struggle is going to be keeping up with the with the with the reproduction of the pigs. We have fed them, they should, uh, they will have feed into next month, but next month I'll have to, must probably sell some piglets. Right, that's just the rolling just about finished. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying our struggles and our trials and tribulations. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Cheerio!